Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Grateful to be here. This is Megan Folkfreund, founder of the Define Meaning Project, where we always bring you free content, free inspiration by meaning definers, people who are defining their meaning and being modern day lighthouses, shining their light of who they are to inspire others. Today, I have the wonderful, amazing Joelle Brown, who is a meaning definer. She is the founder of witchmix.com. She is an intuitive healer. She does Reiki. She is the all-encompassing witchy maverin of supporting you to come home to you and gain more clarity in your life. And so, Joelle, I'm so grateful to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Meg. <laughs> of course. Talk about this, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm grateful to share you. And I would love to just dive in and talk a bit about Witch Mix. And I would love for you to share why you can't not do Witch Mix. We talked about this briefly about how, like, you can't not do it. You have to do it. Could you explain that a little bit more? Absolutely. Um I, I'm really attracted to, um, to helping other people, um, integrate witchiness into their own lives. And that's kind of my guiding principle is how can I help people access that, um, that internal, um, maybe a little offbeat side of themselves mm -hmm. that is natural. It's just wild and natural. That's um, that's why I can't not do it. Um, and because the wildness is in me too. So that's, you know, you gotta, you gotta just shine that light, like you said. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. And so can you talk a little bit about your journey to what brought you to supporting that wildness and encouraging that wildness? Because, uh, I know I've known you for many years and I know for a while that wildness was pretty suppressed and, mm -hmm you were sick for a little while. So can you talk a bit about your journey and what's brought you to here and now? Yes, I'd love to. Um, I was a classic overachiever um, all throughout school and then in college, um, very motivated to be the best. Um, and it was all from external validation that I was seeking and grades are a great way to get external validation um, of enoughness and worth. And then it, it got to the point where now I'm running for, for local office and votes were external validation and jobs were external validation. Um, I went through a lot of jobs in my early 20s because it, you know, as soon as I wasn't getting that validation, I would break up with a job and I have about a a year long <laughs> job rate and a year long boyfriend rate too. <laughs> so, um, and it was all from just that external validation cycle. Um, and that cycle also related to depression and anxiety and illness. Um, my depression was causing me to get extremely ill. Um, my immune system was shot. I didn't have any, my body was not protected. I wasn't protecting myself because I wasn't honoring who I am um, or who I was at the time. And so it's been a long journey of healing. Um, I lived in Alaska at the time. And so the first step was I quit my job. I, I broke up with my roommate, which was really painful. You remember that. Um, and I brought my dog uh, down to, um, beautiful central Oregon where I now live. Um, and there's sunshine here and it's a magical alien place. Um, and I'm, I live in a, a whole new, um, physical environment, which has inspired me to, um, heal mind, body, and spirit. So I'm happy to say I have not gotten a cold in, <laughs> in a long time. So <laughs> that's, that's yeah. amazing. That's amazing. I love it. As your former friend and well, not former friend, but coach, health coach, health coach, yes. health coach you know, knowing mm -hmm. that you were sick for so long 
and watching that tremendous, amazing commitment to yourself has been just awesome. And so now I'm really grateful to be here and share that amazing commitment as it translates into you bringing your purpose, your light to the world. And so I'd love for you to share, you know, what does Witch Mix offer? What is it that you're offering to the people who are watching this and to these people who might be feeling a bit depressed and down and not in alignment? So what I have is, um, I have an astrological background. Um, I use astrology primarily. That's um, what really jazzes me up because I, it uses that academic part of my brain. Um, and it's, uh, that really can give you some good guidance about your, um, your personality and maybe some natural conflicts you have um, working against you um, and for you. And I can help coach through those those blocks and help steer around some of those issues. That's the first thing I like to do. And then I also use tarot and intuitive readings um, just to get a better connection to spirit. Um, I really, my purpose is to connect each person that I work with to their own divine source um, and their own divine purpose. And that jazzes me up because that's what I need too. So I'm giving what I also need. And, and, um, every time I work with someone that fills up my cup. So I'm, uh, I, I do chart analysis and I also do personalized horoscopes, video horoscopes. Um, I also do Skype, um, readings and, and that's, that's what I've been doing with myself. <laughs> Awesome. So practical, tangible tools to help your clients get closer to themselves, to their own yes. internal guidance system. Is that what I'm hearing? Exactly. Personal. I have um, tools and I customize rituals as well. Um, and I can help break down in uh, seemingly insurmountable issues into easy baby steps, um, a baby, baby Who step. Like, need that? <laughs> I like need that. Step. Yes. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So how do you want these people, these clients, you know, if I was coming to you and saying like, Hey, I have this thing, you know, we were just talking about my, my thing with B school and how, you know, I want to align with that, but how would you, how would you want me to feel after working with you? How would you want me to, what would I leave with feeling? You will leave feeling guided, supported. You will have clarity and you'll feel empowered. Um, I notice a lot of blocks that we put on ourselves are um, made up and I can help kind of clear that up um, it usually has to do with self-care and I'm a, well, you know me, I'm all about self-care. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> so, so, uh, and also just an, in, uh, a deeper connection to, um, to your own, um, which powers, um, to manifest and to cultivate your own outcomes. Mm -hmm. So, Mm -hmm. Um, but personal rituals are really fun. I love to, um, make and create custom rituals. That's so fun. Awesome. So. I'm so glad mm -hmm. cause that's so exciting. And I'm sure I'm not the only one watching this right now and being a part of this right now, being so excited by that because <laughs> I love that. I love rituals. I, I think that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So if anybody wants to find you, where can we find you? It's www.witchmix.com mm -hmm. um, and there's a contact page and I invite you to sign up for a free, my opt-in right now now is a free 15 minute um, chart analysis. Um, I just need your awesome. birthday, your birth time and where you were born and I will give you a, um, a quick glimpse into your birth chart. Oh, I love it. So witchmix.com. And we can get a 15-minute free chart analysis with you. 
the divine mm-hmm. self care goddess, Miss Joel Brown. <laughs> yes, I call it. I call it church chat. <laughs> <laughs> you get a church chat. Church chat. Come oh, church chat. <laughs> awesome. Well, I wanted to share this quote because I grabbed it and it just landed in my lap. So I thought it was, and I thought it was really relevant to what we've been talking about today. It's by Catherine Mansfield, and it says, "I want." by understanding myself to understand others. I want to be all that I am capable of becoming. Mm. Here's to us and everybody who is blessed by being around us, near us, and being around themselves and deepening their connections with who they are to knowing that we are capable of all that we could ever dream of. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, beautiful modern day lighthouse, Miss Joelle. <laughs> Thank you for showing up. And um, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Yay. Thanks, Meg. Thanks, darling. Bye. Bye. <laughs>